Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at differentiation of a polynomial. Uh, just to get started, whatever's inside this yellow box is actually given in your level 2 formula sheet. So if you do forget how this formula works, you always can go back to your level 2 um, exam resource and have a look at this particular formula. Now the one we're going to be working with is uh, what, I've, what I'm showing here in this green box. It is both of these things are exactly the same thing the only difference is with the formula in the green box i put a, a coefficient in front of x and in the exam formula sheet you're not actually given that coefficient but it doesn't matter because you do enough of this you probably won't use the formula after um i don't know about 20 of these problems you, you just don't use the formula you, you find a shortcut and you just keep going with it cool so how does it all actually work out now there's kind of like um three ideas behind this when you have a function and if you want to find the gradient function then you've got to follow these three steps so step one is multiply the coefficient with the power step two subtract the power by one step three simplify you're pretty much done okay now i know i went pretty fast in that let me actually show you guys with a, an example all right so say for example the first question there i've got is y equals to 5x cubed so to find the different sh um, the gradient function, what I need to write is I'm gonna re I don't I, it's no longer y, we can write it as y dash, and I'll tell you guys a little bit more about it later on with this different notations that you get. So y dash means is that I'm I'm actually looking for its gradient function, and I'm gonna write the coefficient as is, which is five, and I'm gonna multiply it by three, which happens to be the power, and of course I've got multiplied by x to the power of three. And I've got to take away one from the power. All right. Now, if you look at it, that is pretty much what's happened in that formula. So there's the power b. All right. The power comes in front, and so that's ooh, that's the a well, multiplied. So b is coming in the front, uh, and then what we're going to be doing is we are subtracting one from the power, and that's what we've actually done here. That minus one there. So now we need to simplify this. So when we're going to simplify this, we're going to get 5 times 3, which is 15. And then x to the power of 3 minus 1 is 2. Cool. So that's example 1. Looking at the example 2. Now, what you'll notice is with example 2, I've written it in the form of f of x. All right. Now, that's basically it means that it's a function of x. Or in other words, it's just another fancy way of saying y. So when we differentiate f of x we write this as f dash of x okay notice how this little dashes are popping up with y dash and f dash of x so it's just um, a function and then now it's differentiated so again I'm gonna follow the same steps I'm gonna leave the coefficient in front so that's gonna be 3 and I'm gonna multiply by the power which happens to be 5 in this case and also multiply by x to the power of 5 but I've got to take away 1 from the power Okay, so that means, simplifying it now, I've got f dash of x is equal to uh, 3 times 5 is 15. And then I've got x to the power of 5, take away 1 is 4. Now, looking at example 3. So as I said to you guys, when you differentiate y, you could actually write it in um, the gradient function. You can write it in different formats. So we've so far, we've had y dash. We had f dash of x. Now, the other version you can write it is... Uh, dy dx because dy dx is the same thing as saying change in y over change in x now as for where I got so just gonna see if I can kind of point this out here so the y is actually from there to there and then that's how the x is there so that's how I write it as D, that's why I write it as dy over dx so now I'll follow the same protocol but however in this case x does not have um, a visible power that we can see right now but remember when x is by itself it has a power of one okay but we just don't write it but we actually there is um, a power of one and if you look at the number five five could be written as five times one all right now I'm just gonna kind of point this out separately here so we know that one could be written as x to the power of 0 because any number to the power of 0 is equal to 1 and in this particular case I'm gonna write next to the 5 but I'm instead of writing it as 5 I'm gonna write it as 5 multiplied by x to the power of 0 because I know that x to the power of 0 is equal to 1 and then 5 times 1 is equal to 5 alright so then what I have is 
I've got to deal with these separate. So in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this down. So let me just uh, get rid of that a little bit. I'm going to rewrite my equation here. Sorry, just trying to get that out. Uh, where am I going to do? I'm going to rewrite my equation as y is equal to three to the power three times x to the power of one plus five times x to the power of zero. Okay, now I follow the same procedures, but because there's a plus there, I've got to do this formula separately for each one of those um, for the three x and then the five x to the power of zero separately. So what I've got here is I've got three multiplied by the power in this case, which is one. So it's three times one and I've got multiplied by x to the power of one, take away one. Okay, then I've got plus, I've got five times zero, which is the power of, for x, so it's going to be five times zero, uh, multiplied by x to the power of zero, and then of course we're going to take one away from the power. Now what you'll notice that's happened here is that we're going to rewrite this as dy dx, and we're going to simplify it. So we've got 3 times 1, which is 3. And then x to the power of 1 minus 1 is x to the power of 0. And then we've got plus 5 times 0 times x. Well, that's 0 because any number times 0 is equal to 0. Then we can simplify this as because x to the power of 0 is equal to 1, we can say that dy dx is just equal to 3. So as you guys can see this is taking quite a bit of time in terms of like using the formula and then working through all the steps so as i said to you guys uh, at the start of this video once you do like about 20 uh, of these questions when you practice them you'll get the shortcut now what i'm going to show you guys is that shortcut um, but if you don't understand it just uh, practice these uh, questions uh, for about a few times and then eventually you'll start making the patterns so um, the shortcut is nothing really different from what we've been doing so far. So if you guys have a look at question uh, four here. Question four, what I can say is I can write down y dash and I can see that, well, the coefficient is seven. So seven times two, which is the power, which is 14. And then I write down x as it is. And then I reduce the power by one because I'm subtracting it by one. So two take away one is just one, which means I've solved it. That's the gradient function right there for example four. And if you look at example five, I've got f of x. So I can write, write this as f dash of x. Now 14 is a number and number, when you differentiate a number, it becomes zero. And then when you have negative two x, and if you differentiate negative two x, uh, well, that's just gonna become negative two because uh, anytime you have x by itself, uh, and if you differentiate it, like if I can go back to that um, example that we did in example three, Notice how it was 3x, and then when you differentiate it, eventually comes down to 3. And when it was 5, the number 5 actually disappears. So when we have in question uh, example 5 here, when I see 14 minus 2x and I differentiate it, the 14 will become 0, and the negative 2x will become negative 2. All right, guys, uh, that's basically it for this uh, video for part 1. As always, don't forget to like this video and share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. There should be some playlists popping up. Check them out. Great revision material. And as always, thank you for watching.